Hey guys, welcome back. I am going to try out a, another ring pour. Just get my gloves on and um, see how we go. So it has been almost 30 minutes since I mixed up my resin. It's getting quite warm. I have put it into these little containers here, um, trying to you know separate it to keep it from going off. So I'm going to add white, this is Cerulean Blue by Colour Passion. The white is Supreme White by Just For You Online. I'm worried about this getting so hot. And then I've got La Res in Sapphire Blue. And I want to put a little bit of black around the edges. I think I'm going to have to put that into another cup. It's getting quite warm. Let's tip half of you out, otherwise we might lose you. All right, um, black cast and craft in there. Oh, oh my gosh. It obviously needs to be shooken up. Had like an oily layer on the top. All right, shake that up and give that a stir. So that's going to be my outside. And then my navy blue, my light blue and my white. I'm going to be doing the rings in. And I'm going to try putting a little bit of clear between each layer in my cup just to see if um, that'll help my colours stay a little bit more separate. Because when I did that black and white one, I don't know if you saw it, the ring pour, they did kind of blend a little bit, which I was expecting. But this is why I'm just waiting a little bit longer. I'm going to put a little bit more blue in that. I'm going to wait just a little bit longer with my paints. Uh, well, yeah, paint. <laughs> my resin. Um... But it is getting hot, so I'm getting a bit concerned, and I'm going to get a wriggle on. How's that one? Oh, it's still liquid. If it starts smoking, let me know. <laughs> Which shouldn't. Smoking is very bad for you. All right, so that's the white. And the black blue, the dark blue, that's my clear. And my black. I'm going to put the black down first, just around the outside. Because this is not a, a circle as such, I thought that, um, you know, I don't want my rings changing shape too much because of the sort of agate or geode shape of this big coaster mould or platter. So I thought if I do like a black base first, then maybe it can have, it, maybe it won't give me those unusual shapes, but hopefully, anyway, hopefully. Oh, we're starting to thicken up. Well, that's what I wanted. Oh, my clear smoking, you guys. It's smoking. Oh, my gosh. How are you? Are you okay? This one's, this one's going jelly. It's smoking. I don't know if I'm going to be able to use that. All right, let's get going here. Let's start. Um, start with some white. And then the light blue. Oh, I just said I wanted to put clear in between, didn't I? A little bit of clear. And then the dark blue. And a little bit of clear. And then some white. I don't mind these two being next to each other. A little bit more clear. rest of the white, we'll put a little bit of clear, the rest of the blue, a little bit more clear, oh it's getting hot, and 
and um, rest of the clear. <laughs> That's it. Okay. Uh, that one's alright. This one, okay, that one's lost. I've lost that one. See that one? I had it too full. Had my cup too full. All right, let's, let's see if I can do a ring pour here. I'm not going to bring you down on the side. I mean, I'd like to, but I just don't have the time. Because, um, yeah, it's starting to set up. I'm going to get nice and close to the surface so that I can, it's not going to blend too, too much. I'm getting cells, you guys. This is not acrylic pouring here. This is resin pouring. I shouldn't be getting cells. Oh, there's the white. I wonder why I'm only getting white now. Maybe I didn't put my didn't put enough white in um, in the layers. I'm going to try and get as much out as I can because it doesn't look as if I'm going to fill that mould. Now, I've got a little bit of a tail there. So I'm just going to see if I can fix it up. No, no, nope, just leave it. Right, um, what have I got? This is, I think I've lost that as well. See, it's gone jelly. This is the problem, you know, if you leave too much resin in there, and as I said, that one's that one's gone. Now, it's really hot. Don't put that in your rubbish bin, your trash can, all right? Wait till it goes cold. Otherwise, you could start a fire. So just, you know, be careful. All right, I've got a little bit more of this blue here. Just going to put a little bit there. to fill in that gap <laughs> I look now I've got a straight line okay it's not like I can pick it up and move it so it's just gonna have to be like that unfortunately what about if I make another little little line mm. if I can pour a little bit more in there Give that a little swirl and see if I can maybe just pour a little. Oh, do you think it'll go across? Just bothers me how there's a straight line there. No, look, don't touch it, Julie. Just don't touch it. Walk away, woman. Walk away. Okay, I'm going to leave it like that. Oh my gosh. But see, that would have been all right if, um, like, I know I rushed there at the end, but that's because this guy was going off, and I would have liked to have used that. Now I've wasted a lot of resin and um, didn't have enough for my actual pour. But isn't it pretty? Wow. That's really pretty. Now let me clean up. Um, yeah, I guess I should have... Like, there's no point starting earlier, because I want to get the resin to a certain stage where it's starting to thicken up. But I just have to make sure that I decant into smaller containers because you know I left about that much in, um, and that's why I, that's why I lost all that. So that is why. <laughs> that is why. Uh, good reason to decant so that um, you don't waste your resin. I'm just cleaning up my stick here trying to clean it anyway so that I can reuse it again I might have to that one might be gone skis no, now it's got it's got paper towel all over it all right I'll chuck that one um all right let me just get these gloves off and I'm going to give it a quick torch look I've got cells up here I was hoping not to get cells but sometimes the whites I think they give you cells um, and I was debating whether or not to put the white in, but then I thought, if I don't, it's just going to be too, like, too blue. I really thought I needed that white contrast. And then I also wanted that little bit of black around the edges just for a little bit more contrast as well. Otherwise, it's just all blue. Oh, my gosh. That was, that was nerve-wracking. It was. I'll take you down. Let's 
have a little look. I didn't turn the ring light off. Maybe I should have. Um, so it's looking a little bit more blue through my screen. Um, it is more turquoise because of, of that, that colour there. Now I'll try and get over here so I'm not having that overhead light shining. Oh, oh there it is. It's such a pain. I need to come around this way. So look at that. I've got some cool effects happening in there. That area up there that I was concerned about being straight, hopefully it will sort itself out. <laughs> and you can see how it's mimicking the edges of the the mold there. The black's already coming in. I was hoping to avoid that by putting black around, but more kind of black seeped through there and through there. But look at the metal. The metal's looking really cool. I hope it stays like that. When I did this last time, oh, get your finger out of the way, woman. When I did this last time, the back, like the underside, um, was the prettier side. So um, I'll just have to wait for tomorrow now and see what happens. Oh, oh, I'm a bit upset that I lost all that clear, but I really wanted to use that. I wanted to make some more navy. Never mind. It just means that I get to do it again, hey? Live and learn, hey? That's how you learn. All right. I'll see you tomorrow for the uh, unmoulding. Wish me luck as it dries. Good morning. It's the next day. I'll take the cover off. Now, I have not cheated. I have not looked on the back. Because you can see through with these ones. Through to the back. And some people, they peek. But I didn't. I waited for you. It still looks much bluer through my screen than it does in reality. It's more turquoise because I put in that, um, uh, this one. Cerulean. It's called Cerulean. Um, but yeah, it probably looks blue through your screen too. All right. Let's take it out. It's dried. Does it come out? Yes. Beautiful. I do like the black around the outside. Maybe I'll put black in the actual ring for next time. Although if you're going to put black with white, you know, you have to be you have to be mindful that you might get grey, of course. Oh, it's a big mold this one. This is 25 centimeters across, which is 10 inches. So, it's a big one. Oh, look at that. Hey, how nice would this be on a like a three-tiered platter? How pretty would that be? Are we still soft? Uh, a little bit bendy still. Maybe I didn't mix my ratios quite well. No, it should be fine. It's not bending. Right, without further ado, shall we have a look? Just put you back up there so you can have a, a proper look. Radio. Hasn't really changed at all since I left you. We've got a little bit of this sort of cloud effect happening here but we've got the beautiful rings there with the white and the turquoise which you can't see the turquoise I don't think you can let me know like if you can see turquoise because I can only see blue through my screen all right let's do it one two three. Oh wow look at that It's not as ringy as I thought it would be in the center. We've got kind of like a cloud effect happening in the center. Wow, that's pretty cool. And I'm gonna turn this overhead light off. It's driving me nuts. Okay, a bit darker in here now, but we don't have that white little dot flying around from the light that's just overhead. Oh, that's the other one. That's the one behind me. <laughs> Oh, can't win, can I? Well, I can't show you in darkness. So what do you think? Nice and smooth. Look at that. I turned the other one off as well. <laughs> now I've only got my, um, my spotlight and the window. It's probably enough. So there we go. Definitely cyclonic, isn't it? Eye of the storm. I just wish you could pick up the turquoise. 
which side do you prefer? So that's got the, the rings in the center. And then that one has our cloud in the center. It does look a bit more three-dimensional on this side with that cloudy effect. And then this up here, it does look more 3D. And I do like that black around the edge. Let me know which side you like. I could possibly do um, a cake stand, a three-set cake stand out of this. All right, I'm going to go and set it up outside for a photo. And I'll show you the finished product real soon. Stay tuned.